Namaste YouTube, welcome to Cafe Inoma and welcome to our first time single take on his reaction through Spandau Ballet and the song is True. Never heard this song before, this is the first time I'm going to listen to it. Let's get started with the music. Spando. Spando? Yeah, it should be Spando Ballet. The song True and this is going to be a real, true, first time, pure, raw, spontaneous, impromptu reaction by both of us. Let's get started. Sounds good through Spando Ballet. So true, funny how it seems Always in time, but never in line for dreams Head over heels when toe to toe This is the sound of my soul This is the sound
nice nice oh, nice, nice. Great great wonderful voice. voice wonderful music uh pm don probably did a vanilla ice with this one with the tune of this one pm don there was a you know group of two people uh black gentlemen and they came out with a very popular song though i don't remember the song's name but i remember their name pm don so they kind of must have been inspired by this tune perhaps they took permission from spando ballet but i remember that tune very well i haven't heard this song but by the looks of it this is older than that one that probably came out in 1991 or something so yeah what are your thoughts on it i wish there were more details right I in the know, lyrics I know. what truth I has to be to, known i want to get to that finally but i what like the way it was sung a beautifully sung nice tune catchy music and uh, since pm don did a vanilla ice with it mm-hmm. by taking the tune i mean those who have heard ice ice baby and uh, you know under pressure will know what i'm talking about mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on it all? i like that ah, 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 ah. how was that done oh, can't even do that kind of bad <laughs> sad ta 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 cha yeah. cha cha this is good cha right. cha 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 <laughs> cha 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 and incidentally i know this tune so well because of pm don because of the early it, it was so popular mm. there was one uh, kind of uh, morbidly obese guy mm. and one not so obese guy who used to stand on a beach side location and sing this mm. a uh, very nice traditional uh, kind of african uh-huh. attire right. and singing this very popular song or pm don i'm assuming one of them has taken this tune from each other one of them is the original creator yeah right i like this music i liked everything about the music and i like the way it was sung but i want to know what is the truth we are discussing over here we he kept saying i know this much is true but which part of it is true he can't write the next line is that the part he's talking about that's the truth or is it the first three four lines that he mentioned and then after that he kept saying that that is the part which is true i don't know what the true part is about if i if i have to take a wild guess mm-hmm. uh, i must intervene and say mm-hmm. it is probably to do with apartheid and racism specifically targeting the blacks okay i bought a ticket to the world but yeah. now i have come back again he realized there was so much discrimination against mm-hmm. the black community worldwide okay or at least in the places he visited that he decided oh might as well come back home so i feel that is i can only make a guess because an educated guess yeah. based on the lines how it went and him mentioning marvin gay Yeah, Marvin, I'm Marvin. assuming. Marvin. Like to Marvin. So I'm assuming he saw he belongs to the black community. Yeah. He saw how much racism exists, uh, how they are targeted. It's not all over the world, though. Yeah, I will tell you when you visit India. Not all over the world. When you visit India, first not of in all, India. Uh, uh, the skin color is very very common here because southern part, northern part, many people are dark here. We are all brown. Some people are fair. We have different shades of skin colors. Plus. you know the only scary part with uh, black people here for me is the uh, once i was on the road uh, i i had some chores to do and i was coming out from some uh, courier office and there was uh, you know we have auto rickshaws very common auto rickshaws tuk tuks in mumbai so i wanted to catch one and at the same time while i'm standing to wait for one uh, the auto rickshaw came with somebody in it uh, the person happened to be a black person uh, maybe from nigeria maybe from uh, african countries maybe america i don't know uh, what i saw was a big man real double of my size i was scared to even be near that person for any reason if he thinks or he does anything to me he could literally lift me up and make me fly in the air it was that big that's the only thing scares me is the scary part of being around big people otherwise they are nice people and here nobody even cares nobody even cares about skin color yeah, I know. We, we have all skin colors so definitely he didn't take a ticket and come to india because if he was if you he was here he would have probably received better treatment than most yeah, of us do. You do. <laughs> that's what we are we are this crazy philosophy which i call crazy adhiti deva bhava which means the guest is god or should be treated as god 
So we treat our foreigner, foreign guests as gods. Most of us do. Though Most you know, in not, Hindi not me and in scriptures as well, Atiti is someone who is your guest only for 24 hours. People don't remember that philosophy and people don't remember the fact about a guest is you are a guest for 24 hours. Beyond that, if you're here, you're part of one of us. Yeah, it could also be a love song and he's stuck, he's got writer's block or something. And this much and I And he can just speak. can't write the second line, it's becoming so difficult for him. He has some words to say to her, to him, his partner, uh, and uh, he's just not able to get it. And this much is true, he kept saying. Yeah, so that's it for this one, goodbye. Namaste YouTube, welcome to Cafe Inoma and welcome to our first time single take on his reaction to Doobie Brothers. We are going to react to the song, listen to the music. Listen to the music. Let's get started. First time single take in Bromdu Spontaneous Honest Reaction by both of us. Wow. Listen to the music. The 
Where did that come from? 20th century. This was stupidity at the end. <laughs> they posted in there. Listen to the music. They took it literally. Remind me to cut it out of the video if I remember it. Yeah, we but heard it. I don't remember. <laughs> I'll write it down. And Unless yeah. that was part of the song. I right? don't think I it was part of the song. I don't think. Anyway, uh, it was a good song. Yeah. According to me, a good song. Mm. It talks about the benefits of music, the power of yeah. music. That when it plays, people can, you know, forget about uh, their anxiety, whatever they're stressed out about, whatever they're depressed about or feeling depressed about. So that's the power of music. It makes you happy. It can also make you sad depending on the kind of music you listen to. So it talks about all that. People gathered around, they're eager to listen to the news, what's going to come. Some are happy, some are sad. Mm -hmm. Are soldiers going to die at war? Are so many people going to die of the Wuhan coronavirus today? What's going to happen in the world today? Yeah, you know, how many more infected? How many have recovered? How many masks are available, how many gloves are available and so and so. Yeah, so it's all about that and the power of music. Once you put on the music, switch on the music, listen to the music. All those things, at least for a while, you tend to forget about them. And there's the songs also about those things. Yeah. What's on the news. Yeah, what do you have to say about it to Kirti or the song? We are actually following this advice that is sung in the song. To the T. Uh, you know, there were a few lines which were very nice. What the people need is... A way to make them smile. It ain't so hard to do if you know how. Gotta get a message. Get it on through. Oh, now, mama, don't you ask me why. Listen to the music. I like that. You need to go have a good message. Get it through your music and listen to the music. I like the description of the places that were mentioned, especially the countryside and how people are enjoying, how people should be dancing, making merry, listening to music. And... Uh, making their worries go away, fly away, vanish away, whatever you can do. But music does do that. Music does help people come together at the same time, helps people forget about their problems, forget about their uh, causes that are making them stressed out. Music is truly a therapy if it is used and if it is created with the right spirit. Created with the right spirit is very important. If music that is making you more depressed or music that is way too controversial, music that is promoting uh, illegal things and uh, uh, you know unwarranted ways of living, that music will only do harm, not good to anyone. And that is why we as reactors also are very, very cautious about those things. And we generally, whenever we get songs that are uh, moving away from the core message of the music, that is to enjoy, that is to add purpose to your life that is to add some meaning to your life that is to remove the side effects or the worries from your life we mention if the music isn't doing doing that part this song was good uh, vocally i thought it was more uh, drowned out in the music it could have been more impactful but uh, th that impact didn't come out from the song the way it was sung it could have been more you know for a uh, high spirit the songwriter is listed as Tom Johnston. Very well written. Yeah, very yeah, well written. Very well written. Not so repetitive too. Yeah. That's it for this one. Goodbye.